Hi, my name is Drew, and this is a video tutorial about how to use the QuickTime screen capture function. All you have to do is open up QuickTime. If it's not in your dock, it'll be in your applications, in your finder. Go to applications, and it is right here. So all you have to do is open that up. Once you're in QuickTime, it's very simple. Just go to File, New Screen Recording, and this dialog box will pop up. In the volume function, this little bar here, you want to leave that at the very bottom to the very far left. If you bring it up, you'll get an echo. To the right here, you're going to have a little drop down menu. This has your audio settings and a mouse clicks option. For the microphone, I'm using a USB audio codec microphone. You can rent out USB microphones from the Tech Depot here at Ohio University. And I suggest you doing that because you'll get a much better quality sound. Um, if you do not have that option, then the built-in microphone will work fine. For quality, you want to choose high. Why not? Okay, when you're ready to record, all you have to do is click the red button. If you want to record the full screen, you'll just click and it'll start. If you, or you could have the option of dragging to select and uh, a different um, frame for your video if you don't want to have this useless stuff on your desktop. I'm just going to use the full screen option to show you everything I'm doing. When you're ready to record, hit the start recording button. Now I would wait to actually do your presentation until you see the numbers pop up here. Um, sometimes the recording will start before the numbers but I don't want you to lose anything that you haven't done yet. And there they go. Now you can bring up your PowerPoint or whatever you want to use. You can play from start here. And you got some nice little transitions going. Use sample templates to kick off your presentation. Yada, yada, yada. And then when you're done, hit escape. When you're done recording, all you have to do is hit the stop. And it's making your movie. When the movie's finished, it should pop up. There it is. You can view it here. There you can see the mouse clicks. Um, when you're ready to save, uh, the way I like to do it is just hit the X arrow. It's not going to delete your video. It'll ask you to save and where you want to save it. I'll just call this PowerPoint. I like to save it on my desktop just because I'll know exactly where it'll be. Or you have the option to choose. Let's say you have a class folder you can choose your class and save it there. But I'm just going to stick with the desktop. Um, for format, you would just choose movie here. This will work for every output device you want to use. I wouldn't mess with anything else. Unless you just want the audio, then you can choose that. After that, hit save. I already have one. Replace. And there it is. It'll pop up right where you saved it. And there you go. In the next clip, I'll show you how to take it into iMovie to edit. Thanks.